Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to a different kind of video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a subscription service. Uh, it's not a box service, it is Scribed. Uh, it is basically Netflix for audiobooks. You pay $8.99 a month and you get unlimited audiobooks. Now when Scribed first started out, they didn't have much of a selection, of course, everybody has to start somewhere. So, uh, but the, the reason I tried it was because my friend Don sent me a gift subscription for six whole months. I'm going to leave a, a link to Scribe down in the doobly-doo. If you want to check it out, click on that. Uh, so many of you signed up that I now have uh, the updated time frame for my free, tr for my free uh, trial has gone all the way to April 2021. Um, so... Yeah, that's, that's kind of nuts. Sorry, April 2022. Um, so uh, all the way into, you know, it's two, two years from now. So thank you so much for doing that. But the link down there in the doobly-doo is to uh, a friend of mine. His name is Wayne Fenlin. He is the one who suggested that I put the link to Scribe and to get the free months. He's the one who suggested it. So thank you so much, Wayne. Please, everybody, if you want to try out this service, uh, after the end of this video, please use his link down there in the doobly-doo. The first thing I'm going to mention about this service is its piracy problem. Um, I was going through, I was trying to find uh, an audiobook copy of The Chain by Adrian McKinty, I think it was. I wasn't enjoying the book and I wanted to just, you know, just find out what happened. I was going to put it up times three speed and blow through it. But that, is, that, that doesn't really matter. Um, but how I found how I found the piracy problem was looking for that book. I noticed that the only copy of the book that was available was from a user and not the publisher. And then I started looking through some of the other documents um, and I found Zoji's, or Zoe Stage's Baby Teeth. I found numerous other books, PDFs that were uploaded by users. It is, it's a huge problem. I reached out to uh, McKinty and to Stage, and I told them both, um, and they, at first they thought it was a torrent site. Well, uh, Stage did. She thought it was a torrent site, but looking into it farther, she decided to send it to the, uh, to the copyright department of her publisher. Um, so this is a major, major problem, and the reason for that is because anybody can upload anything they want without any gatekeepers. I don't know why this is a thing. Um, if anything is uploaded, uh, you, you would think they would have some kind of algorithm or something in place to not allow PDFs. Now, when I reached out to uh, Scribe for a comment, the only comment I got was uh, you, there is a copyright uh, procedure uh, that, that, that basically authors have to jump through hoops uh, to actually get their book taken down, which is absolutely ridiculous. All we should have to say is, hey, this person uploaded the book, please take it down, and that should be it. There's absolutely no reason why anybody can upload a book without checks and balances. Uh, that should, it, I mean, that's, that's like torning. That, that's exactly what this is. You are getting, and on top of that, Scribe is making money off of this because you have to be a member of their service to read these uploaded books. That's a huge, huge problem. So while I do recommend the service, there is that caveat that you know you need to you need to know that if anything that you're reading or listening to is uploaded by the the uh, user instead of the publisher, then you are engaging in pro in piracy. Now, as far as the service itself, the Selection is amazing. Um, I do come across every now and again. I will find books that uh, that aren't available or that are coming soon, even though they're already out. And this is, of course, because there's exclusivity with Audible and you know other companies. Um, so you're not going to find everything that you're going to find on a service like Audible. But it's great for finding lesser-known authors. Without this service, I never would have read uh, Ghost Wall. I never would have read Optic Nerve. It's just not books that would necessarily appeal to me enough to go out and buy them. And I'm glad that I had this service because I was able to use, the, use it to find these authors. Whereas with a service like Audible, you get the one code for one book a month, or you can buy more than that, of course. 
but th there comes that it's like buyer buyer's anxiety am i going to enjoy this am i going to uh, waste my money that that's something that i think this this service really excels at is the it's kind of like kindle unlimited you pay one set price you get you know anybody who uses the service or signs up for kdp select you you get all of those books but of course once again you're not going to get everything and at 899 man that's a that's a hella cheap that's almost half the price of audible service and with audible for 1499 you only get one book so I am going to recommend this service with the caveat that there is a piracy problem. Um, they need to fix that. I am, I, I am tentative about continuing or actually paying for the service myself. I'm just being completely honest with you. Yes, I'm telling you to go check it out. You get a 60-day free trial. Check it out yourself. Um, but I would like to see them tackle this piracy problem in a different way other than, hey, you need to jump through these hoops and fill all this out before we will take it down. Uh, when If an author contacts a company that has a book up illegally on their site, that company should automatically take that down and suspend the user who uploaded it. Now, whether or not they do that on the back end, I don't know. Um, like I said, the only comment I got from them on Twitter was, it, here's how to submit a copyright takedown claim, and then the topi copyright takedown claim was ridiculously uh, in-depth. I, I would like to see them take care of that, and if they did, I would have no problem recommending this service to literally everybody. Uh, because for $8.99, unlimited books, and you do get new releases. Um, sometimes you have to wait a little while for them, like a week or two, sometimes it's a month, and sometimes books do disappear. I think that's what I'm going to add on to this. I was reading uh, When Crawdad Sing. I was two hours from the end of the book. I didn't get any warning, notification, or anything to let me know that they were going to remove the book. And I still haven't finished the book because I only have two hours left. If if you want to try it, keep that in mind. If you're going to listen to something, uh, it, it's it's not like, like a Netflix original where it's going to be there forever. You're, you're, it's going to disappear at some point in time. Uh, some of them might not, but I would t I would let you guys know that it, it, it can happen because it's happened to me. But I think that's everything for today's video. Uh, it was kind of a rambly, all-over-the-place review. Uh, I apologize for that, but uh, this is the first that I'm reviewing a service. If you guys would like to see me review other services like this, um, yeah, I, I don't know what else is available. That's why I'm asking you guys. Leave your comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another service subscription <laughs> review. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.